please. Just one more story. Okay, but then it's really time for bed. Can we read this one? Again. Please. Once upon a time, in the year 2020, people fell asleep in a world full of poverty and plenty. When they woke the next day, life as they knew it had disappeared, as a deadly virus swept the nation quicker than they had feared. Not visiting parents and grandparents became an act of love. as our government closed our schools and guarded from above. Hugs and kisses became weapons, people were told to stay at home, learning that in Liverpool, sometimes you do walk alone. Social distancing, remote learning, they all played their part. Clapping for the NHS, saying thank you from the heart. Covid, quarantine, 14 days in isolation. These are the words that have filled their conversation. They were all in this together and all connected. All with their own story and all affected. They put on a mask every time they left the front door. But was this really any different to how they'd left the house before? Was the fabric on their face not just a physical representation of the mask they once would wear. When they left their homes and came to school, hoping no one would stare. At the girl with red eyes who had been crying all night. Or the one excused from the classroom who didn't feel right. Isolated from friends and feeling alone. Riddled with an anxiety every time they looked at the phone. Struggling to keep things together, knowing home life was tough. Stuck in the depths of depression, feeling like they'd had enough. You see, long before COVID, the masks were already in place to cover their fears and vulnerabilities, not just their face. I'm good. I'm fine. I'm doing okay. Lies that were told day after day. These children wanted to be heard. They wanted to scream out in pain, but were too afraid that's how people would remember their name. So instead, they shut their mouths, let it all bubble up inside, put on a fake smile, and told their feelings to hide. But something happened in 2020 and people saw the light. The virus had taken so much already that they joined together to fight. Taking jobs, homes, lives, but making them appreciate what they had. And they'd be damned if society just focused on the bad. You see, they became the generation with a story to tell. Inspired to be key workers, fighting to keep others well. The generation who saved lives, living through an unpredicted time. And the generation who decided not to just say, I'm fine. The generation who wore a mask, but didn't mask how they feel, said it was okay to speak up and just be real. Embraced diversity and accepted that no one's the same. And acknowledged that mental health can cause real pain. The generation who saw that you can be helped if you are willing to say, loud, proud and with feeling. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. And that's okay. They saw you didn't have to be perfect. In fact, perfect doesn't exist. You can be doing your best and it can still look like this. They had tried to keep things together so they didn't fall apart. But every time they broke, it left even more scars. They saw that unhappy adults are what wounded children grow up to be. So they decided to take off their mask and let the whole world see. 
Their beauty, imperfections, worries and tears, their hopes, their dreams, their aspirations, their fears. Once upon a time, speaking about mental health seems strange, but these children were the generation, the generation of change. Now close your eyes. It's time to go to sleep. Mum, was that really what it used to be like? Yes. When did things change? 